Yes, it's true. I am the illegitimate love child of Stephen Hawking and Harry Potter. <laughs> and, uh, I should warn you before I uh, continue. Um, if you're not a fan of disabled intensive humour, then please walk away now. Because <laughs> God knows I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'm playing the disabled. <laughs> um, are you all from university, I presume? Yeah. Yeah. I'm from university myself at Lincoln University and uh, I saw a party poster, it's a club recently. Uh, the theme for the night was uh, the, on the poster, the theme was cave men versus cave women. Fancy dress. Now the organisers of this event feel the need to tell us that dressing as a caveman or cave woman will indeed count as fancy dress. <laughs> now that's it because they think A students are so stupid that they feel that dressing up as a caveman slash woman doesn't actually count and that some students do actually dress like that normally. <laughs> Which is true, looking at this room. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, or B, the organisers of the event think that, well, real life, actual cavemen will turn up to the event. <laughs> and they'll look around and go, oh, I told you I should have dressed as a pirate. <laughs> um, I'll tell you a story now, I'll tell you a story. Um, I was out with my family uh, not that long ago. Uh, I was out with my brother, he's uh, disabled as well, uh, in his uh, wheelchair. We were being pushed along by our um, parents. And in front of us, we were in town, in front of us, there was another family, a mum and a dad, and a little boy. We've only been about three or four, you might know him. <laughs> and the uh, little boy turned around and I swear, he saw two disabled people and I swear his face just lit up. He turned, he looked and he went like this, he went, Mummy, look! Wheelchair people! <laughs> I swear he thought the fucking circus had come to town. <laughs> um, but yeah, it made me realise Maybe I'm a completely different race. Maybe I'm not a male. Oh, I'm probably not even a female. I'm a wheelchair person. And if you think about it, I probably should have realised it all along. I mean, let's face it, we're not allowed to park our cars where everybody else parks their cars. <laughs> No, we have to be put with the women and children. 